فاشرف بي لاشتغال بالعلم ولا تبغي به ما عشت يا ذا بدلا ويا له من شرف عظيم Your wife is waiting for the idda to finish. She's going to get married. Your children are going to fight over. I saw father, children fight over their father's, father's wealth before the father even got put in the grave. The kids took gun out on each other, fighting over their father's wealth. This is my own. The dad hasn't been buried. Even that dead body lost his name. He's no longer referred to his name. When you're washing him, you say, did you wash the dead body's arm? Did you wash his fingers? Did you wash the dead body? His name's called the dead body. He lost even his name. Nothing you own. The thing that remains is your amal, ya ikhwa, your amal, actions. That's why today is your opportunity. The day of judgment, you can cry as much as you want. Your tears can turn into blood. It's too late. Wallahi, it's too late. Today is yawmul amal, the day of actions. The day of hard work. And tomorrow is the day where you reap it. If it's good, it will take you to Jannah. And if it's not, it will take you to the hellfire. The kayis, the smart one, the clever one, is that he looks for every opportunity to accumulate. The clever one is not the one who saves money in his dunya, whose bank is big, he's got checks, he's got so much money in his account. That's not the wise one. The wise one is the one who's looking for ujur, actions. Where can I receive Action today. What can I do? Smile in the Muslim face. The, even, even the minimum he can do if he's sick. Hatta just salam alaykum. Just a 10. He can get from that 20. He's looking for everything for the angels to write it for him. Wallahi ya ikhwa. This is a person who's a person who looks who's looking for akhirah. And once that day, this happened for him. The, 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 the form or this individual will say to him, who's in his grave, would say, Rabbi aqim is sa'ah. Oh Allah, bring the hour. Hatta arji'a ila ahli wa mali so I can go back to my family and my children. He's happy. When he sees this, he says, Oh Allah, bring the hour. Bring the hour. Let the hour strike now. I just want to go to my family. I want to go to my wealth. I want to go. He passed the test. He passed the test. The biggest test that's ever going to come. He just passed it. Imagine the happiness that person indoors, ya ikhwan. Knowing he's going to go Jannah. He just passed the test. That's it. And it's a test. It's questions you already know. How are you going to fail it? But you'd think by just answering today you're going to pass that test? No. You're going to only pass it if you lived by If you were told Allah made this haram. And you say, ah, Allah, I don't know, man. I really don't know. You know, I need to do it. Marrabbuk is not real in you. Marrabbuk is not strong in you. Are you with me, brothers? It's a person who truly accepted he's a slave. That's it. And he's got a master. And when his master tells him to stand up, he says, okay. His master tells him to do anything, he says, okay. As the Prophet said, al-mu'minu <laughs> kal-jabal al-arif. That the believer is like a camel that is held from the nose. Wherever he is directed, he goes. The hadith says the nose, not the neck. Because the neck you can, call, you can pull back. You can refuse a bit. You know, you, no, don't pull me. But if the rope is put on your nose, you, if a person pulls you, you go the direction that they pull you towards. Huh? That's how the believer is. If you see yourself questioning Allah's commands and you're questioning Allah's laws, be worried and scared for yourself. Then the Prophet ﷺ tells us the second group of people. He says, وَإِنَّ الْعَبْدَ الْكَافِرُ The disbeliever, the criminal, the transgressor. إِذَا كَانَ فِي انْخِطَاعٍ مِنَ الدُّنْيَا If he is leaving this world and he's departing from it. وَإِقْبَالٍ مِنَ الْآخِرَةِ And he's facing the hereafter. نَزَلَ إِلَيْهِ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَلَائِكَةِ Angels will descend on him. Angels will come down on him. How do they look? سُوُدُ الْوُجُوهِ Dark and black faces. مَعْهُمُ الْمُسُوحُ فَيَجْلِسُونَ مِنْهُمْ أَدَّ الْبَسَرِ They have with them these angels. They have rough cloaks with them. They will sit where his eyes can see of. ثُمَّ يَجِئُ مَلَكُ الْمَوْتِ Then the angel of death will come. حَتَّى يَجْلِسَ عِنْدَ رَأْسِهِ He will sit next to his head. فَيَقُولُ He would say to him. 
أيتها النفس الخبيثة أو you filthy soul أخرج إلى سخط من الله وغضب come out to the anger of your lord and then the prophet then said عليه الصلاة والسلام فتفرق في جسدي فينزعها كما ينزع الصفود من الصوف المبلول then the nafs will be taken out of his body look what the prophet said فتفرق في جسدي the nafs when it's told to come out what does it do? it runs away into the body parts when it runs into the body parts it will be pulled out every vein will feel the pain and the Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, it will be taken out of him like a, a metal rod being run through a soaked cotton. The way it can't fully, it will be pulled through him like that. That's what's meant by wanazi'ati gharqa. The adab that he feels in the punishment. Then when the angel of death takes it, he puts it in the cloth where the other angels are holding. So he puts it in there. And this cloth, the most dirtiest and filthiest smell to it, it's like the smell of a corpse, the smelliest thing you could ever smell. And they take it to the sky. And whenever they go through a level of the sama, and which the angels are, they say, Man had Who is this evil soul? They say, Fulan ibn Fulan. This is so and so. The worst name that he used to be called by. Then he will be brought to the Sama'i Dunya. Then the angels say, Open the door for us. Sama'i Dunya, the first level. It won't be opened for him. And then the Prophet recited the ayah. It will not be opened for them. Okay, how can a kafir go through the Sama'i? And go through angels' levels after levels. He hasn't worked for that. Kafara billah, he disbelieved in Allah. La tufattahu lahum abwa'u sama. The doors of the sama will not be opened. The angels will refuse. Don't let this individual in. Ah. And Allah said, Wala yadkhulun al jannah. A kafir will never enter jannah. Hatta yari jal jamal. Until a camel goes through the eye of a needle. Can a camel ever go through a needle? Can it? That's the same way that can't happen. They will never enter jannah. لا يدخلون الجنة حتى يلج الجمل في سم الخياط. and then Allah سبحانه وتعالى and nowadays you hear this concept of those who say that disbelievers they will spend their time in the hellfire and then finally you know Allah is merciful. I will care for them. Allah Allah. The merciful one said the merciful one told you that they will stay in hellfire forever. Uh, he's the one who told you this. Uh, just like just as though Allah has mercy, Allah سبحانه وتعالى has what punishment. Ah, he punishes. And no kafir will ever enter Jannah. Never will he enter Jannah. He will stay in the hellfire forever. And then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, Allah will say, Uktubu kitabahu, write this individual's book. Record his, in him. In what? Fi sijjin. Fi al-ardi sufla, which is the lowest of the earth. Fatutrahu ruhuhu. His soul will not be brought by angels again. That it will be chucked at him. It will be thrown to his body on this earth. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, then the Prophet recited the ayah, وَمَنْ يُشْرِكْ بِاللَّهِ Anyone who associates partners with Allah, فَكَأَنَّمَا خَرَّ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ It is like, it is thrown from the sama. فَتَخْطَفُهُ الطَّيْرِ And birds are snatching it. أَوْ تَهْوِي بِالْرِيحُ فِي مَكَانٍ صَحِيحُ Or that the wind is pushing it to the lowest of levels. فَتُعَادُ رُوحُهُ And then it was, the, 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 the ruh that was thrown will fall into his body. And then the angels will be waiting for him next to his head. Now they ask him question. They say to him, Mar Rabbuk, who's your Lord? Fayaqulu, he says, Ha, ha, la adri. Fayaqulani lahu, then they say to him, Ma deen, what's your religion? He says, ha, ha, la adri, I don't know. Fayaqulani, then they say to him, Ma hadha al-rajul alladhi bu'ita fikum. What is this man who was brought out amongst you? Nabi Allahi Muhammad, who is he? And he says, ha, ha, la adri. Fayunadi munadi min al-sama. I call a wukul from the sky. And he said, this person disbelieved in me. And كَذَبَ abdi, my life, this is a liar. This individual, deceptive, kafir, liar. فَأَفْرِشُوا لَهُ مِنَ النَّارِ Open and spread for him from the hellfire. وَفْتَحُوا لَا بَابًا فِي النَّارِ And open a door from the hellfire for him. فَيَأْتِيهِ مِنْ حَرِّهَا وَصُمُومِهَا The heat and the pain and the hot 
from the hellfire will come to him. وَيُضَيَّقُ عَلَيْهِ قَبْرُهُ And then the grave will be tightened on him. حَتَّى تَخْتَلِفَ فِيهِ أَضْلَاعُهُ Until his bones from the two sides here, his ribs, they cross by. تَخْتَلِفَ فِيهِ أَضْلَاعُهُ وَيَأْتِيهِ رَجُلٌ Another a man will come to him. قَبِيحَ الْوَجْهِ His image is very bad. قَبِيحَ الثِّيَابِ The clothing he's wearing is very bad. مُنْتَنُ الْرِيحِ His smell is very bad. فَيَقُولُ He will say to him, أَبْشِرْ Glad tidings. بِالَّذِي يَسُوْءُكَ Everything that will harm you, hear it from me today. Every pain that you can ever think of, imagine it. This is what you're going to get from me. هَذَا يَوْمُكَ الَّذِي كُنْتَ تُوْعَ This is the day you've been promised. This is the day a kafir was promised. فَيَقُولُ He then says to him, مَنْ أَنْتَ Who are you? فَوَجْهُكَ وَالْوَجْهُ يَجِيءُ بِالشَّرِّ You look like a person who's going to bring me only evil. And he will say to him, أَنَا عَمَلُكَ الْخَبِيثِ I'm a manifestation of your evil actions. فَيَقُولُ Then this disbeliever will say, يَا رَبِّ مَاي لُوتْ لَا تُقِمِ السَّاعَةِ Oh Allah, don't let the hour strike. Because what he is going through here is nothing compared to what waits for him in hellfire. كُلَّمَا نَضِجَتْ جُلُودُهُمْ بَدَّلْنَاهُمْ جُلُودًا غَيْرَهَا لِيَذُوقُ الْعَذَابِ Every time his skin peels and it burns, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will uh, dress him with another layer of skin so he can taste the punishment of the hellfire. So now that's what's meant by وَالنَّازِعَاتِ غَرْقًا وَالنَّازِعَاتِ غَرْقًا here means and by those angels who extract with violence Allah is swearing by subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَالنَّاشِطَاتِ نَشْطَى And by those who remove the soul with ease. Who is it? This is the soul of the mu'min when it's been taken out of his body. And the mufassirin here also differed. Who has been sw- sworn by, by the qawluhu ta'ala وَالنَّاشِطَاتِ نَشْطَى Who has been sworn by and who is Allah making an oath on? The scholars did differ on this as well. But we've taken the opinion that this, is, this means who? The angels. Because of the context and because of, the, because of this hadith itself. The hadith of Bara ibn al-Azim in Musnad Imam Ahmed. And the Mufassirin, when it came to the Nashitat, they also differed on it in four views. Some said it is the angels. And this is the call of Ibn Abbas. And as we said, this is the strongest opinion. The second, they said it's death. The third, they said it's the stars. When it basically shines. And the fourth one is the lariat, which are ropes that when it's tied and it's then released, when it's used for the camels and it's used for the tying the camels or whatever, this is what's meant by it. But we said that the strongest here that Allah is making an oath by is what? It is the angels that are coming with it. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then says, and by those who glide as if swimming, Allah says, and I swear by those who glide as if they are swimming. What does this mean? It means that the swimming can take two. If a person swims in water, it can happen. And you can also swim in the air. That's what's meant by the word sabihat. These angels, they are what? They are gliding in the sky. With what? Like in, with the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is commanding them. And so what do they do? They're gliding from the sama with the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to this earth to fulfill the mission that they've been given. Convey this message. Do this. And they glide in the sama. Allah says, I swear by those angels. Allah can swear by whatever he wishes subhanahu wa ta'ala. But the things that Allah is swearing about are very serious. If we only understood it. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, فَالسَّابِقَاتِ سَبْقَى فَالسَّابِقَاتِ are and those who race each other in a race. These angels, one, the racing in the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the speed in which they are doing it, in running the matters as they are told. And as we know, the angels are what? They are the angels are a creation that they don't disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They don't disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they do everything which they are commanded. They're told, go, do this, they do it. 
So Allah is swearing by them subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you can see the word fasabiqati, this is atf. Atfu sabiqati ala sabihat. The word sabiqat in this ayah is being connected to that which was mentioned, which is as sabihat. The Mufassirin also differed on what's meant by what is meant by the sabiqat. And four views is what they differed on. The first view is that it's the angels. And we've mentioned that this is the strongest to us, inshaAllah ta'ala. The second one is, is that it's death. Which is that the nafs, when it's being taken out of the person, this, the one is hastening and the other one doesn't want to come out. The third one is al-khayl, the horse. Allah is swearing by the horse and the speed that the horse picks up. Because of the believers who are fighting, who are doing jihad on their horses, Allah is swearing by it, subhanahu wa ta'ala. The fourth one is al nujum the stars. The way that the stars are moving from one place to another. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is, he is swearing by that subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, فَالْمُدَبِّرَاتِ amra," and, and those who arrange each matter, I swear by them. All of those, I swear by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he's saying. And فَالْمُدَبِّرَاتِ amra," I said to you before, the Mufassireen are in unanimous agreement that this is meant by the angels. Who, can, who fully accomplish the commands that they are told to come with. And as you know, each a, a, an angel is given a mission to do. Jibreel, he's fulfilling his job. What was Jibreel meant to do? Who are the three biggest angels? Jibreel, Mikael, and Isra, Israfil. Why are those three the biggest? Because each and every one of them deal with the soul. What does Jibreel deal with? The Quran, which is the soul. وَكَذَلِكَ أُوحَيْنَا إِلَيْكَ رُوحًا مِنْ أَمْرِنَا مَا كُنْتَ تَدْرِي مَا الْكِتَابُ وَلَا الْإِيمَانِ وَلَكِنْ جَعَلْنَاهُ نُورًا نَهْدِي بِهِ مَنْ نَشَاءُ مِنْ عِبَادِنَا Jibreel coming with the soul of the heart, the nafs. Mikael, what does he deal with? The rain. What does the rain bring? Crops. You live on that, right? That's what Mikael. Your risk and your living. What does Israfil take away from you? Yo? What does he do? Huh? He blows that? What does that, what that, what does that take? Uh, what does that take? 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 What does that are you with me, brothers? And they are the heads. Each one is fulfilling his job. And each one is doing as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's an angel whose job is Jannah. There's an angel which his job is Nar. There's an angel whose job is to count those rains. There's angels that his job is to convey the messages to the prophets and the anbiya and the rusul. Each angel is doing it. Each angel is doing it. Why do, you, why do you think Allah needs you then? Allah has a nation. Allah has a creation. لا يعصون الله ما أمروا ما يفعلون ما يؤمرون and then when you pray one salah, you think you're righteous. When you do one tasbih a day, or you pray five times in the masjid one day, you think, mashallah, you're the remainings of the companions. But Allah has a creation who are righteous. يُسَبِّحُونَ اللَّيْلَ وَالنَّهَارَ لَا يَفْطُرُونَ Day and night they are exalting Allah, subhanAllah, they're exalting Him. وَلِذَلِكَ there are some angels, Allah created them in prostration. He created them in that way. When the soul, when the ruh is blown, the trumpet is blown, what happens? And the nafs is brought back, to, they die and they come back again. What do they say to Allah? Subhanaka, subhanaka Allahumma, ma'abadnaka haqqa ibadatik. Exalted you are Allah. We haven't worshipped you the way you deserve to be worshipped. Those angels, they say that. Oh Allah, we haven't worshipped you the way you deserve to be worshipped. We haven't. Ah. We haven't worshipped you the way you deserve to be worshipped. So these angels, فَالْمُدَبِّرَاتِ amra. Uh, what is it that all this Allah is swearing by? Remember, we have here so far in this Quran, in these verses, it's called, we have the Qasam. So I told you the wow here, what, what did it show? Wal-Nazi'ati. It's the wow that we use when we say, Wallahi, it's that wow, right? So Allah is making an oath on all of them. But when you say, Wallahi, what? What's the jawab al Qasam? What's the answer to this Qasam? Wallahi, what? You see? So we now mention all that Allah is swearing by. But what is it that he's swearing by? He's swearing by these, crea uh, these creation, 
But what is the jawab al qasam the answer to this? The response the scholars they say is La tub'athunna, you will be resurrected. Allah is saying, وَالنَّازِعَاتِ غَرْقَى وَالنَّاشِطَاتِ نَشْطَى وَالسَّابِحَاتِ سَبْحَى فَالسَّابِقَاتِ سَبْقَى فَالْمُدَبِّرَاتِ أَمْرَى لَتُبْعَثُنَّ You'll be resurrected. I promise you. All of those angels who do all of those things, it's you saying, Wallahi, Billahi, Tallahi, I will never come to your house. So you ask, I will not come to your house. It's called Jawab Al-Qasam. It's the response to the oath that you made. Allah here is saying, لَتُبْعَثُنَّ you will be resurrected, and you will be resurrected, and you will be resurrected. And you will come to me, everyone. Every single one of you. You can run, you can try to hide, but you will come to me. وَكُلَّ insanin. Every individual will come to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the day of judgment by himself alone. He will be coming naked, uncircumcised, shoeless, he's not wearing no shoes. He will come to me and I will account him. That's what the ayah. So this is the jawab al qasam which is mahdhuf, which is hidden in the ayah, which is hidden. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, Yawma the day, the day, tarjufu al-rajifa, tatba'uha al-radifa, on the day, the blast of the horn, it will convulse creation, all of us. They will follow it, a radifa, meaning, a shake will come with it. The Mufassirin, the scholars of Tafsir, Jumhur al Mufassirin, they said that Yawma Tarjufu al Rajifa, the word al Rajifa here is meant by a Nafratul Ula, the first trumpet. Yawma Tarjufu al Rajifa means the day when the first trumpet is blown. This is the call of the Jumhur al Mufassirin. It will be followed up with Radifa. Radifa here is meant a nafra to the second trumpet that is blown. This is transmitted from Ibn Abbas. And it is also transmitted from Al Hassan al Basri. And it is also transmitted from Qatadat ibn Da'amat al Sadusi. And it is also transmitted from Abdihaq ibn Mazahim. All of them, that's what they said. The first part is talking about the first trumpet. The first blast. Now the question that we need to ask ourselves, the Prophet وسلم, they said to him one day, Ya Rasulullah, why don't you smile? Why don't you laugh? And then the Prophet said, كَيْفَ أَضْحَكْ وَصَاحِبُ الصُّورِ قَدْ إِلْتَقَمَ بِالصُّورِ How can I laugh when the angel who is being appointed to blow into the trumpet has placed the trumpet on his mouth and he is waiting Wahana Jabhatahu, he brought his head forward to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the direction of Allah. He's put it on his mouth. All he's waiting for is blow on it, and he wants to blow. How can I laugh? What's that? That's the time. How many years ago was that? 1,400 something years ago. This shows us what? Iqtarabalinna <laughs> All is close. It's very close. You're the one who sees it. That's why Allah refers to it as day. That day. So the believer, every single day, he knows it could be, it could be his last day. Anybody who dies, his qiyamah has started. Your qiyamah has started. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, Yawma the day, on the day that the blast of the horn will convulse creation, there will be follow it the second trumpet being blown after it. What will happen that day? Allah says, hearts that day will tremble. Hearts that day when the trumpet is blown and they die. Everybody dies Except whoever Allah wills And some of the Mufassirin They said it here is Musa And we speak about it when we come to it later And then the trumpet is blown again And then the people will And the people will be resurrected from their grave again When that day happens Hearts 
that they will tremble. The creation, they will be scared. Khaifin I mean Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. They will be scared of Allah. The person who wasn't scared to this, to this day today, that day he will be made to be scared. قُلُوبٌ يَوْمَئِذٍ خَاشِعَةٌ Their eyes will be humbled. The word khashir means here, humbled. They will be forced to humble and lower their eyes. Because the khawf and the ru'b, the fear and the terror that that day has, is severe. So it will affect the people's hearts. The hearts will start moving. And the people will also be scared. They will look down, humble themselves. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he then says, يَقُولُونَ They say, أَإِنَّا لَمَرْدُودُونَ فِي الْحَافِرَةِ They are presently saying, Will you indeed be returned to our former state of life? This is what they say to you, Muhammad. The people whose hearts are going to be like that are now today saying to you, regarding the affairs pertaining to the resurrection, rejecting it, they are saying to you, are we going to be brought back to life بعد أن نموت ونتفنا تحت التراب as Ibn Kathir said are we going to be brought back to life after the earth has swallowed us and we've been buried ولذلك one of them he took from the earth dust and he came right next to the Prophet's face and he said to him Ya Muhammad أتدعي do you claim that Allah is going to make us into this and he blew it he did this and he said Ya Muhammad you claim that Allah is going to make us into this and bring us back and Allah says in the Quran, وَضَرَبَ لَنَا مَثَلًا وَنَسِيَ خَلْقَهُ قَالَ مَنْ يُحْيِي الْعِظَامَ وَهِيَ رَمِيمٌ Allah says He gives us a parable, an example. Uh, now He thinks He can give us an example of what the dust is like. Did He forget who created Him at the beginning? قُلْ يُحْيِيهَا الَّذِي أَنْشَأَهَا أَوَّلَ مَرَّةٌ وَبِكُلِّ خَلْقٍ عَلِيمٌ The one who's going to bring Him back to life and bring Him back to this world is the one who initially created Him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We'll stop here insha'Allah ta'ala. Uh, anything which I have said that was wrong is from me and shaitan and Allah and his messenger are free from it. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruka wa tuhu